unveiling our, our new trailer lights. Uh, Bruce is peeling off the last protective wrapper. Okay, so, and now to demonstrate them. What do you wish first? Um, well, how about, uh, we just start with, um, the tail lights. Okay. Are you on the lights? Okay. Okay, now you'll notice the weird piercing noise. That's a uh, piezoelectric uh, feeper to uh, let the driver know that the uh, lights are in fact working. And now if you turn that off. Lights off. Okay, and do a uh, left turn. So, uh, the noisemaker is connected in series with the lights, so that it proves that the entire circuit is working. And, of course, you don't actually want this when you're actually driving, so I'm going to turn it off. Uh, okay, so uh, give us um, uh, tail lights again. Okay, so those are bright. And Bruce is playing with the brakes. All right, turn signals. No, 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 that, that's the noise of the geese in the distance. Uh, okay, uh, do the turn signals. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Now you'll also notice that in the video, uh, Things look very yellow. This is something to do with the optics of the camera. In actuality, in real life, they all look very vivid red. Hmm? Okay, I think we've shown everything. Now you may be wondering why I have so many wires here. There's three reasons. One is I didn't trust the trailer frame for ground, so there's this ground wire. Uh, second is I didn't have any splices far back under the trailer, so everything's spliced together here. And you notice a couple, th uh, there's some of the slack is taken up in extra loops. You want me to plug that one in? Oh, yes, that's actually, uh, yes, another feature. You notice we have a socket here that doesn't go anywhere. That is to plug the trailer into when it's not in use. Uh, that it does three things. It keeps the uh, cable up off the ground, it protects the contacts against corrosion, and you notice it's all wired together to the trailer frame, so everything is shorted out. So that way, since the 
signals are all light emitting diodes, which are semiconductors. This will protect them against static electricity or EMP if someone drops a nuclear bomb in the vicinity. Or lightning. So that's a quick tour of our new light system, which uh, also all the connections are soldered and shrink wrapped. So um, should be safe against corrosion or failure and will likely last at least as long as the trailer frame will. So do you have any uh, profound conclusions? Uh, we're better off than we were. Good enough. Close enough for government work.